Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4. It's been a while and we're here with a new campaign. As you may recall, a while back I was asked to do a campaign where starting as... Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Little Granada here. We survive against the onslaught of Castile. Come over to North America, start a colony of Mexico, then switch over to playing as Mexico. I tried doing that and it just, I guess... Put it this way, it's not that fun to watch because there's a lot of a lot of luck-based stuff and like forming alliances and everything, so Castile doesn't just immediately come in and destroy the hell out of me. So instead, I thought, let's cut the middleman and just play as a custom nation as Mexico. Better Mexico. A Sunni Mexico. AKA, I, I have a feeling for some reason that the inspiration behind me doing this particular campaign was a, ooh, Donald Trump's worst nightmare thing. Anyway, any other political stuff aside, you're also probably wondering why did I not choose to play in Mexico itself? Well, I figured while we're at it, we might as well, I mean, I don't want to take a province away from the Aztecs, and then I'd be surrounded by the Aztecs. I mean, we'll conquer Mexico, maybe make it our capital, or we'll just rename this to be Better Mexico, because it's better than Mexico over here, probably. All right, let's get started. Also, let's play in Iron Man, because why not? Might as well earn some achievements while we're at it, because why not? It's always Sunni in Mexico. Gotta love those puns. It's very pun-like. Probably. Possibly. Maybe my sense of humor is awful. Who knows? Also, my color is almost identical to the Aztecs, so that's definitely not going to lead to confusion about whose borders belongs to who at all. Also, just an FYI, Aztecs, uh, your green is my green, so you're going to have to you know, die or something. All right, first of all, let us get started. All right, so we're transferring trade here. We have no influence anywhere else, so we might as well collect trade in our home node for now. All right. Uh, as for diplomats, uh, let's see. First of all, national decisions. Let's see, what's this? As long as we have at least free admin. Ooh, we gain piety and missionary strength. That'll probably be useful. Adopt the title of Khalifa. Yearly prestige, why not? Uh, this is our only mission, really? Can we, uh, make anyone a rival? We can't. Yeah, no possible rivals. That is unfortunate. Um, hmm. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, let's fabricate a claim on our nearest and possibly weakest neighbor. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's also see who wants to be my friend. Does anyone want to be my friend? Would you like to be my friend, Zapotec? Uh, let's see here. They're neutral. They're neutral. They hate me. They're neutral. All right, who do you hate? Lapinek and Totenek. So if I say I hate Totenek, uh, that means they'd probably like me. Also, you're hostile towards me, so maybe I'll be hostile to you or something. I don't know. You're rival to Kalima, so that means if I hate you, Kalima might like me. I'm pretty sure that if, like, the people you mark as hated, they'll kind of like you better. Uh, you hate me, and... You know what? Let, let's try improving relations. I can usually get these guys as an ally. But then again, maybe I should be working on Kalima instead. Any good missions here? I'm going to take this and then cancel it. Also, I'm going to uh, lower my maintenance, because we're making absolutely no money right now. And then I'm going to do this, so that our province is slightly stronger. And I'm going to say build. And we're going to build up to our force limit in infantry. Because why not? Sounds like a fun plan, and is probably going to go swimmingly. What's this? Let's see. Discovered fabricating a claim. Dash it all. Ah, screw it. I have nothing else better going on anyway. But I usually like to cancel and uh, restart if there, if like the claim is not already almost finished. But it makes sense, I wonder, to hire some guy or a girl. Hmm. What's our income? Only 0.81, so basically no. I can't afford advisors right now. We will, but none yet. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Let's uh, rename this. Maybe 
be better Mexico and better Mexico City there. Much better. Incidentally, is this province actually called? Oh no. No Chitlin. Alright. Would you like to be my friend yet? Probably not if I had to guess. Yeah, they don't like me at all. Not the same religious group. Oh right, the reason I usually... Mixed tech. Who are the mixed tech? Right, I usually have uh, better luck with this because I'd normally... Or the last time I... Ooh. Hello. Alright, who are the Aztecs at war with? Mixtec and Kalima. Right? And, uh, Mixtec are at war with just the Aztecs. So the Aztecs are actually alone in this right now. Would it make sense to go to war with the Aztecs? Hmm. It might. I mean, the Aztecs are pretty powerful, but... Actually, let's let's have a look at this. Nobles demand privileges, huh? Okay, I guess I can do that. Right, let's have a look at the old ledger, as I do enjoy looking at the ledger. Excuse me. Okay, they have 8,000 of a possible 9,000. Lima has... Boopily boopily boo. They have 7,000 of a possible 8. And the mixed tech have... Two of seven. So they presumably just got smashed by the Aztecs or something. So... Hmm... I mean, in order to take their capital, we need nine men. I cannot field nine men. Do you have an ally? Damn, they actually have allies. Well, that sucks. They have allies. Yeah, basically, we have to go to war with the Aztecs is what I'm seeing from this. And even then, it's probably not going to go that well. Uh, let's see. Gain piety or gain ducats. Oh, but lose prestige. I guess I probably want more prestige because that means more morale for me. Oh, damn, their capital's been taken. So that's pretty much it for them. Basically, they're gonna surrender now. It's not good for me. Oh, and the Aztecs just decisively won that fight. I forgot, the Aztecs are actually really powerful. Let's Let's look at them, shall we? Let's look at their national ideas. They get infantry combat, plus 10%, and idea cost, minus 10%. But then again, we are Western. I know, technically, we're playing as a Muslim group, so I should have played with Muslim tech, but I thought, why? Why would I do that? Zapotec, Tlapanec, Totenec. My goodness. Yeah, without... Without an ally... Yeah, they just, they just hate me. Okay, so effectively, this might this might not have been my best choice. These guys always several different groups. Hmm. Yeah, because everyone has all these super alliances. But then again, I remember this being a problem with the uh, 1.15 patch, where suddenly everyone loves each other, and instead of hating and destroying one another. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't know CB war... Oh, no, these guys have allies. I mean, basically, my only shot... would have been to go to war... probably now. Because, actually, what tech are they? Oh, they're one in everything. We're free in everything. So, I mean, we do have... some advantages... in our current predicament. I would like more advantages, to be entirely honest. That allows us to build... to afford building... No? I thought it would bring me up to seven. Apparently not. It will mean we're making more money, though. Ever so slightly. Terrasan on Kalima. Hmm. Oh, how I want to go to war. Wait. If I go to war now, since there's, like, all kinds of crazy stuff going on over here... 
you're a vassal of the Aztecs now. Yeah, that, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. All right. Now, big thing we're going to want to check out here is see who we can declare war. What's this? Game stability. Sure, why not? Okay. If I declare war on you, all those guys come in. If I declare war on you, I have to fight the mixed tech as well. If I declare war on you, I have to fight Tlapanek, who is all the way the hell down there. Hmm. All right, let's um, let's start raising our army maintenance. How many do these guys have, Totenek? Uh, Tlapanek has seven. Totenek has six. Why is every? Oh, because I'm a one province miner. That's why. That's why I can only afford one person. Or six people. Something. I should consider hiring this guy for the extra discipline. But discipline is not the be-all, end-all. It feels that way sometimes, but it's not. Oh yeah, also, uh, we're playing as a Dutch Republic, which is probably the most overpowered and awesome government type ever. Don't believe me? Try playing it yourself. It's awesome in every way. Alright, um... Yeah, Terrasan. Who is Terrasan? You're Terrasan. Wait, if I declare a war on you, who comes in? Everyone comes in. Gotcha. And you won't come in because you have your own war going on. Okay, good. Tlapanek could be a problem. And I do have the issue that if my capital gets taken, that's basically it. It'll increase our piety, though. That's probably a good sign. Of course, the thing is... It really depends. If these guys don't bother getting access through us, then we'll only have to fight Totenak, and these guys will just sit here for emotional support. We should probably be willing to build mercs, though. So, uh, let's, uh... Maybe I should have built the mercs now, in advance. I'll build... Four of them? Accumulate money, why not? Sounds like a worthwhile mission, but we're probably going to immediately fail it. Just you wait. Alright. Where are you going? Oh, they're going to circle around like that, probably. Oh, what's this? House of Orange. Oh, God dang it! <laughs> uh. Well. You know what? I'm going to cheese the hell out of this. One second. You, sir, get the hell out of that province. I'm gonna wait until just before they arrive, like when they're locked in, and then I'm gonna pop this. That is cheesy as hell. Oh, wow, and we instantly finished that mission. Oh, I'm cheesing the hell out of everything. Damn, I'm awesome. Alright, just watch. Just watch what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be really fun, guys. You're gonna love it. I promise. Until it locks. Okay, they're locked in. Now, BAM! They're going to have to fight these guys, who are probably Western tech. And they're getting their ass beat. So we'll move in and kill whoever survives this. Beautiful. So basically, we destroyed them for free. Aren't I awesome and evil? And awesome evil? Now we'll just destroy their army. Boop, 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 boop. Damn, that was some tactical thinking. Aren't I awesome? Of course I'm awesome. And then, since at low morale, we'll just crush them. Instantly stack wiping them. Like a boss. Is that gamey as hell? You better believe it is, but it worked. And that's all I care about at the end of the day. I care about results. I can also actually probably detach and get rid of the merc. I, yeah, they didn't bother getting access, so... yeah, I'll just send you home and... Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, I'm just delightfully evil. Remember that, my friends. Rebels can help you sometimes. It is glorious. Actually, you know what? I Oh, no. We're losing our... Uh, let's see. Zero, zero, 002. This is why a Dutch Republic is so awesome. You gotta pick your candidate. And why would I pick zero, zero, 002 and, and uh, promote democracy and fair elections? When I can vote for Utman Umayyad, who is a 435 
who is actually better than our current leader. And I think... I mean, the, the one annoying thing is we're gonna have to keep picking these decisions every single time. Which is mildly annoying. But, also, in case you've never seen a Dutch Republic re uh, before, uh, government types. Basically, you have the statists on one side, and you, you go for them if you believe in democracy and trade and uh, Republican tradition and all that jazz. And if they're in power, you get elections every four years, as is normal. If the Orangists are in power, these are like the hardcore aristocrats. These guys believe more in like a monarchy and they give you land force limit modifiers and stability cost modifiers and you lose Republican tradition. Well, I mean, it's not really that big a deal because we just don't actually gain any naturally over time. And also, we're going to annex these guys completely in one fight. Also, I should probably have shared my the ideas I picked. Possibly not the most optimal, but I figured I want discipline and core creation costs as my basic things that I'll always have, because those seem very useful. And uh, when we finish everything, we get a land force limit modifier, which I also thought would be pretty cool. Probably not necessary, but cool. Anyways, our first idea is trade efficiency. Also, if you, if you have the time and you really want to, you can actually name all these ideas and write custom descriptions for them. I didn't bother doing that, but the fact you can is awesome. So we have trade efficiency, global trade power, national tax modifier, production efficiency, unrest, a land maintenance modifier, morale of armies. Basically, the idea is we want to be very, very wealthy because we have some challenges we're going for here. We want to get first come, first serve, which is to basically own every single province in North and South America as a custom nation. Uh, I swear this achievement is basically impossible unless you roll back to an earlier patch. But, uh, yeah. And Ideas Guy. Make, uh, yeah, starting with less than free development. You don't actually have to have all 800 points here. Make 500 ducats a month. That's a little more difficult than it probably sounds, but it is also very, very cool. Oh, also, something I should probably do. And this is what I like doing, is because you basically get free leaders forever. Also, that guy is an amazing leader. I'm glad I voted for him. Are you glad you voted for him? You better be. Because if you didn't, it's off to the gulag, or whatever, the equivalent of a... Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is this campaign is getting off to an amazing start, and it's going to continue being amazing because basically we're a Western nation fighting a bunch of primitive North Americans. I probably should have been paying attention to what that said. Because I don't know what that said. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep improving relations with you. Why not? Oh, what's this? Gain piety, lose ducats. Wait. How are there infidels living in better Mexico? How is that even possible? It's just, we're all Muslim here. I mean, we're surrounded by people who aren't, but how did we let them emigrate into our country? You see, that's the problem. Illegal immigrants crossing the Mexican border into better Mexico. Tisk tisk. You know what, I would rather actually have the ducats. Also, since we haven't played as a Muslim nation on camera, yet, kind of like the status, they have a back and forth thing where if you're very pious, you get missionary strength, better morale, better fort defense. But if you're not pious, you get more taxes, you get more manpower, you get more technology. To be honest, it's usually probably better to go this way. But then again, if you want to make sure you have a strong religious unity and everything, you want to be pious. Plus, it also makes your armies fight better, so... You know, there's, there's trade-offs, really. It depends on what you want. Can I, uh, like, piece these guys out? I wonder if I could vassalize them. Let's find out. Like, could we vassalize them in this war? Oh, wait, right. They could, Because they're such a lower tech, they could only be a protectorate, so never mind. We don't want that. We just want to piece them out of this war. Wow, they still have medium enthusiasm for this war. I am impressed. Alright. Let's see if we can get access through the Aztecs. Would you be willing to let me cross your borders? You would. Alright. Beautiful. Now we'll just come in here and, I don't know, we'll like force them to follow our religion or something. That, that usually makes a lot of sense. Where's their army? Where is their army? They have six... Are you in a, involved in another war or or what? 
Oh, they are. That probably explains why they weren't getting involved. They have a terrible capital for it. Anyway, I'm just gonna kind of, like, carpet siege them, maybe. So I just want to get them out of the war. That way I can annex these guys. Maybe get a super coalition of all the other uh, Central American tribes. Oh shit, there they come. Wait, they're not coming for me. Alright, you guys willing to peace out yet? I'm pretty sure we've showed our... No, really? Alright, everyone into the capital. I, I could just, like, crush their army and that would also more or less have the same effect. But, I don't want to do that. Because that would cost me manpower and stuff. Ah, but then again, I don't have a siege leader, so this could take a while. It's also going to cost me money and time and stuff. Let's see, lose loyalty and prestige or gain some... Oh, I'll, I'll accept the loss of loyalty. Okay, good, we're almost done with this siege. And they'll have to peace out. What's this? No. Oh. I want to wait until we get a better mission than the improved prestige thing. I mean, the reward is okay, but it's... you kidding me? I've got your capital now, what are you going to do about it? While you were busy fighting that other war, we completely sieged out your country. Uh, I want war reparations. I can't force religion on them? Oh, come on! Ah, oh, that's annoying. I'll just take all your money then. Oh yeah, because we're not in the same religious group. That's kind of silly, but... Because we're part of different religions, or different groups of religion. I mean, if we were playing as, like, Norse or any of the pagan religions, we'd be able to make this work. But, alas, it wasn't meant to be. Alright, I want all your land. Can I force religion on you? No. No, I can't. Now, what I could actually do... Ooh. What I could do is just uh, annex them and then... No, because if I release them, then they'll be a protectorate still. I was going to say I could annex them, and then pop them out as a vassal, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way. I'm also getting a lot of money from this. I mean, we're also getting a lot of inflation, and that might not be worth it, but oh well. I like inflation. I don't really. I, you know, that should have been one of my ideas. I should have had uh, inflation reduction as an idea. There we go. Let's see here. Religious unity, convert uh, Coxel uh, Qet Tax Axlin to Sunni, huh? I'll give us missionary strength. This will give us stuff. Might as well go with this one, right? Uh, Axel. Axel. Alright, you're gonna be annexed, and then boop, boop, and boop. Beautiful. I love it! Now we're so much more powerful already. We can get a full two more guys. Damn, we're awesome. We also have just huge amounts of money. We can fabricate some more claims. They still have no allies, so we're probably going to want to attack the Aztecs next, but that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, what's this? We've been... Really? You caught me immediately? Oh, and you also... You know what? Screw this. I don't need allies. No one's going to ever love me, so... If they won't love me, then... I guess it's just war or something. Anyway... We're probably going to have to deal with some rebels here, but that's going to do it for this first episode. If you like the idea of this series and want to see more of it, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.